Well, it's the video that will reveal the truth about what happened to a prisoner inside the Wayne County Jail, a prisoner who died. Seven investigator Heather Catalo joins us now with the latest on our efforts to show you that video. Heather, what's going on now? Well, we started asking to see this video months ago. When Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napoleon refused to show it to us, we appealed that decision to the Wayne County Executive. Tonight, we've learned Warren Evans is also refusing to release the video. Do you think there's a cover up going on here? Yes. Malika Akbar is trying to find out how and why her father died. Abdul Alim Akbar got locked up in the Wayne County Jail last May after he was caught scrapping in an abandoned building. Months later, when sheriff's deputies told her that her father was dead from a heart attack, Malika did not believe it. Seeing him the way that, that he was, so swollen and beat, I was not prepared for that. I was pre prepared to see my dad, and I didn't see my dad. At that moment, it was very apparent to me that something happened. Akbar's medical records that we obtained show that on October 23, 2014, the prisoner was brought to Detroit Receiving Hospital after an assault. The records show the 59-year-old was kicked in the face and that he believed there was a loss of consciousness. Doctors discovered Akbar's jaw was broken on both sides of his face, and testing showed a possible brain hemorrhage and head trauma. Sources tell the seven investigators that deputies used force to subdue Akbar around 5.30 that morning. Records show he wasn't taken to the hospital until eight hours later. Akbar was returned to the jail after surgery on his broken jaw, but a week later, he was found dead in his cell. The medical examiner said he had heart disease, but Malika Akbar denies that. Is there any doubt in your mind that he died because of this assault? There is no doubt in my mind. That's why both Malika's attorney and the seven investigators have been trying to get the video of the assault so we can see what kind of force was used on the prisoner. Tonight, 7 Action News received word from the Freedom of Information Act coordinator for Wayne County Executive Warren Evans. They will not be handing over that video. There isn't an excuse for hiding the truth here. Come on out with it. And we've just received this statement from the Evans administration. It reads, quote, the prosecutor's office is presently reviewing a request for criminal charges relating to an incident in the Wayne County Jail. Part of the information being sought by the media through a FOIA request is evidence which can't be released without jeopardizing the fairness and integrity of the process. Of course, we don't want to jeopardize the process in any way, but we should point out this video was being requested by the family's attorney and by us many months before this was turned over to the prosecutor's office. Hopefully the video can be released at some point so the Akbar family can have the answers they're looking for. Carolyn? You certainly hope so. Thank you much, Heather, for that report.